and most beloved musicals of all time as my first attempt was a little bit nerve-wracking. And the bees down the seat. You don't look so good today. I mean, this is obviously the country where I was. I grew up, and my family are here tonight to see the film with me. And um, yeah, it's incredibly special. You know, you work on something for so long, and you're just desperate to for people to see it and and to get it out there in the world. I think that it's so joyful. It's so romantic. It's so funny. It's so deep. It's at moments really frightening. I think it's kind of one of these films that is just really universal. Yeah, it just fills you with joy. I mean, you, you go and watch it and you come out just feeling fuller for having seen it. I just think that if you love the original, then we really fill in parts of the backstory. There's more depth, there's more detail, and um, I think that if you're a fan, then there's kind of, there's more to enjoy. For me, it's just that she's so non-judgmental. She is able to see past Beast's exterior and and, and even his, you know, his bad temper, frankly, and to see that there's kind of a vulnerable and um, loving man underneath and, um, or human even, and I think that people could learn a lot from Belle. Ladies and gentlemen, she's my Belle, she's that Belle, she is the beauty that is Emma Watson. So Belle tells her father, everything I am, you made me. Aside from your own parents, who had the most influence helping you grow into the person that you've become today? Oh, that's such a lovely question. Um, you know, I had, a, um, I had a chaperone who looked after me when I was in the Harry Potter films and her name was Emily. And she was sort of like this big sister role and I just kind of idolized her. And I think she was an amazing role model for me. And, she really set an amazing example for me and I, um, I really looked up to her and so I think she, she had a big part in informing who I am now. Um, if a curse fell upon your fellow castmates, like it does in the story, what objects would you turn them into based on their real life personas? Oh my goodness. Um, oh my God, that's <laughs> such a hard question to think of on the spot. Uh, 
I would turn my publicist Luke into a um, pocket watch so that I could just talk to him all the time and he could tell me where I needed to be at what time. That's a nice one. Easily. Yeah. You shouldn't be offended. You should feel. Oh, no, I'm going to take that. That's, uh... Keep you in my pocket. <laughs> if you picked one favourite character other than your own, who would it be and why? I love the character of Beast. Mm -hmm. Like part of me kind of like was jealous of Dan at some points playing Beast because he's so complex and so wounded and angsty and moody and like yeah. I agree with that. I love the motion as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, this is obviously the country where I was. I grew up, and my family are here tonight to see the film with me, and um, yeah, it's incredibly special. You know, you work on something for so long and you're just desperate to, for people to see it and, and to get it out there in the world. I think that it's so joyful, it's so romantic, it's so funny, it's so deep, it's at moments really frightening. I think it's kind of one of these films that is just really universal. Yeah, it just fills you with joy. I mean, you, you go and watch it and you come out just feeling fuller for having seen it. I just think that if you love the original, then we really fill in parts of the backstory. There's more depth, there's more detail, and um, I think that if you're a fan, then there's kind of, there's more to enjoy. For me, it's just that she's so non-judgmental. She is able to see past Beast's exterior and, and, and even his, you know, his bad temper, frankly, and to see that there's kind of a vulnerable and um, loving man underneath and um, or human even and I think that people could learn a lot from we have the beauty and the beast here Emma Watson and Dan Stevens I have to tell you both my sister and I wore out the VHS tape of Beauty and the Beast we loved so it nice. so much you so did. Did I. I think Beauty and the Beast is the reason they invented DVD isn't it because everyone just ragged their copies of the VHS and people were outraged. I know we did in our house, and I think you did as well. Yeah, no, and, and, and we just loved Belle as well. She was such a hero of ours, and I think that's quite an important thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, she's unbelievable. She's fearless and curious and independent and defiant, and she's like one of my, she's one of my childhood heroines. I mean, it's just such an honor to get to play, to get to play her. And you had um, some, uh, you, you could actually change her a little bit in this remake. Just tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I think that what's been so wonderful about adapting this, um, you know, from the original is that we were able to flesh out the backstories of our characters. And, you know, I got to kind of show a bit more of Belle's personality, a bit more about, you know, what her life's like before she goes to the castle and she meets Beast. And um, I think that it really kind of like gives an extra depth and, and, and really just gives the audience, you know, a, a bit extra which is which is great yeah. and, and it plays into the sort of campaigns that you've been doing as well there's a lovely bit where you're teaching another girl to read yes oh my god I love that scene so much no I you know it's amazing I, I'm really lucky to to play someone where there's so much kind of there are these themes that overlap and um, uh, she I, changes beasts reading habits as well which is another true. superpower it's a big bells. thing about how they bond with um, with between beast and bell yes, is that they important. argue about which is the best book and what they should and shouldn't be reading and whatever else is it. She subtly changes his ways yes. through sneaky book suggestions. You must have been relieved to get that costume off at the end there. I mean, you were ballroom dancing in stilts, weren't you? Yes, I was. It the was... stilts were something I wish I could burn. It was a little bit crazy. Yeah. It was, but you know, crazy is fun sometimes. But yeah. And thankfully, Emma is extremely experienced we love an extra at working challenge, with this, this we? mad kind of way of working and didn't bat an eyelid. And fortunately, it's a tale about seeing past hideous exteriors, which I felt like I had most days. Yeah. And uh, seeing what's going on on the inside, which I hope Emma saw. <laughs> and we all did. We all did. Thank you so much. Thank I would you. love to talk forever to you. The film, though, is out on March the 17th. <laughs>